For those people who don't know me, Devin the Dream Haney. After a hard workout, I always make sure I take my proglycosin. Great for recovery. Recovery is a, a big part of training, and uh, take your proglycosin, you'll feel much better. Devin Haney and Jorge Linares. I like that fight. I think that's a good fight. What do you so think about good, that it's fight? fight? It's a good fight. It's a good tester for Devin Haney. Because Linares has no respect. Mm -hmm. Linares comes and Linares, believe me, he's gonna, he's gonna use his experience and frustrate you and as strong as he is, he hits. I mean, Devin Haney, smart kid, smart boxer, but honestly, he's not attractive to me because of his style. I mean, his style is, is favorable for him, for, for some people, but not for me. I like to see more of a come forward, you know, dominating fighter. He's more of a boxer, you know. I mean, honestly, no disrespect to, to him. Everybody, that's his style, and if, if it works for him, great, congratulations. But I watch him fight after the fourth, fifth round, I just change the channel, uh, honestly. But that doesn't mean that, you know, he's not a good fighter, he is. But, uh, I mean, watching him go with uh, Gamboa, what, 10 rounds or 12 rounds? 12 rounds. 12 rounds to me, like, okay, I mean, Jorge Gamboa, I seen him get dropped a couple times by this kid in Mexico that was 11 and 2. You know, a, a kid from Cancun. And I'm like, you know, at this level, at this level, these young fighters like Devin Haney, uh, Teofimo Lopez, uh, Giovanni Davis, Giovanni Davis showed a lot against uh, Leo Santa Cruz, but at the same time, I see Leo Santa Cruz, I mean, to me, he did his best of his career at 122, you know? Moving up to 26 to 130, I mean, he doesn't have the power. You could tell that Gervonta Davis had no respect for him, you know, because his power wasn't there. I mean, he's not a 130 pounder, and he executed him, but that's the way you execute a fighter that comes into your territory, regardless if it's an older fighter, or if it's a, a younger, I mean, a lighter division, like, Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia. I think that Earl Spence should have done with Mikey Garcia to prove himself that he's at that level what Giovante Davis did with Leo Santa Cruz. But, uh, I mean, if he had another plan, he won the fight. But Mikey Garcia is one of the greatest fighters of, of this era, you know? He's, he showed it. He's taken the risk to move up different divisions to fight the bigger fighters, and look, he's still there. Does Jorge beat Devin? Jorge, he can. Yeah. Oh yeah, he can. He can. He can be. He can be Devin Haney. Mm. He can because he's gonna. He's a smarter fighter. He's a smart fighter, and he has a lot of power. Once Haney feels the power on Jorge, he's not gonna try to engage. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.